Hi guys, it's a fantastic day today as you see maybe there is just uh, a few patches of snow left but spring is certainly here and uh, absolutely fantastic weather today. I've been wandering around a bit, looked a bit at birds and so on and uh, now I thought I have a sit spot and uh, I will show you a neat trick to, to get comfortable. Okay here there is lots of trees I can, can sit against but uh, there is a, there's another nice method which is a very ancient method. So, find myself three pieces of dead wood. Not that long, but uh, I broke over the tops. And the first thing I do is I make a very simple tripod. Luckily I have a bit of cordage with me, and that will help for this particular thing. A bit of paracord, that works. So the first thing I want to do is to to half this piece of uh, paracord. So I take it apart. That. half of it. Like that. That's that's the half. And then I put it around these it's not really rocket science so it doesn't need to be exactly half but I want to tie these together. So I, I half the rope so that I had two strands which gives you a little loop on the end. I put one end through it, put it around the three pins and wrapped the end a couple of times here, a couple of times here, a couple of times there. So this is kind of a very loose construction. I thought I'd give you a slightly better view of this. You see, just simple tying three sticks together. This end is still loose, so I will tie this off with a simple half hitch. So that will work. Like that. That's going nowhere. Right. Now there is a little trick to make this a good tripod. And I will turn this a bit more up so I can be other way, like this. You now simply turn them around and it makes it tighter. And if you have the space to do that, you do that a one more time. So, this seems pretty tight to me. And now you see this is a pretty tight, well, it can be a bit tighter still. So, let's turn them around one more. You have to be careful so that you don't break the sticks. So, this will do nicely. And I still need these bits of rope. Like this. Now this is a really nice tripod. Great. 
So with the tripod now done, I need a few sticks. I found these dead pins. Just cut a few of them. That's long enough. That one is okay. That will be enough. Well, by now you might have guessed what this is going to be. It's going to be a simple back support. A very, very easy piece of furniture that works great in, in, in your camp or whenever you, you, you need it. And, uh, well, I like to rest my back to something. A tree is nice, but sometimes, especially when you're inside a shelter or whatever, it can be nice to have this. It's a very old concept. And now you also see why I wanted to, to split or, or half my, my rope into bits. But now I need both of these things to uh, support my, uh, yeah, the, the sticks for my back. So I don't know how many, something like this, yeah. And I hang that up with, uh, with a simple clove hitch. Well, simple. It's always, you're always kind of doing it the wrong way in your head, but that doesn't really matter. This should be a, yeah, that's a clove hitch. Something like that. And then you do the same thing here. But you need to yeah, get the height about right, something like that. completely apparently yeah. that works and then you continue all the way down well here you have it the back support very simple made of nothing but that material simple tripod with a few pins to support your back. I use a bit of cordage to create the tripod. There are other ways of course but it's quite convenient because the the rope, in this case a paracord, will, will be divided in two bits that I can then use to weave the, uh, the, the support in. Those are just simple clove hitches. Simple and effective. And as you can see, it's really, really comfortable. And here I can sit a few hours, no problem. This thing is really nice to make in your, uh, in your base camp or uh, in your shelter. It's, it's one of the simplest pieces of furniture that you can think of, really. So that's great. And just from a few pieces of that material. See you all in the next film, guys.